Hello, this is Ron Clymer at Clymer School of Real Estate, and today is May of 2013. And the reason I'm putting this video on in May of 2013 is because in February of 2013, the FRAC made a lot of changes to the Florida real estate exam. And uh, the pass rate in March for first time takers was about 27% pass rate in April for first-time takers was 27 percent and even lower than that for second-time takers and uh, you can read my article on uh, my blog to get the details on that if you want it but the bottom line is the new real estate exam is tough and one of the things they put on the exam that's never been on there as long as I've been teaching is the 12-month 30-day method of proration this is just, this is just, uh, as far as I know, never been on the exam before, but it's on there now. Now, the 12-month, 30-day method of proration presumes that there's 12 months a year and they all have 30 days. Well, that's obviously not true, but the theory is it's just as unfair to one person as it is to another. So let me show you how this works. If, we, uh, if we're going to do something, and let's just do, and by the way, here's something else that's on the new Florida real estate exam, is prorating interest. Now, interest, as you know, is usually, most of the time, probably paid in arrears. So if you have a mortgage payment, like I have a mortgage payment, when you make your mortgage payment on the 1st of April, you're paying your interest for the month of March. You pay your interest on the 1st of May, you're paying your interest for the month of April. So we usually pay interest in arrears. Now, because that's true, because that's true, if somebody comes along and takes over somebody else's mortgage in the middle of the month, they take over the mortgage in the middle of the month, then what's gonna happen is when they take it over in the middle of the month, the seller is going to end up owing money to the buyer. On a closing statement, that's going to show up as a debit to the seller and a credit to the buyer. Now, I've got a couple of students out here in the class. I'm hoping I can get them to help me with my arithmetic, but just in case I can't, I'm going to go ahead and I've got a calculator here and I'm going to do the arithmetic myself. So let's assume that we have a mortgage that is $12,350 at 6%. Now this is the 12-month, 30-day method, sometimes called the 360-day method. Assuming there's 12 months, they all have 30 days. Well, let's take this amount of money times 6% and see what the annual interest is $12,350 times 0 .06. So this is going to be $741 in annual interest. So the annual interest on this $12,350 loan is 6% is $741 per year. So we're going to take the $741 per year and we're going to divide it by 12 to figure out what it is per month. All right, 741 divided by 12 is $61.75 per month. $61.75 per month, per month. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, that's right. $741 divided by 12 is $61.75 interest per month. Now, let's say we have a closing on May the 5th. Now, it tells us in the question that the day of closing belongs to the buyer or belongs to the seller. 
There's no particular reason why, just because it says so in the question. So we're going to make this the seller's day. That means the seller owns the fifth. That means he reaps any benefits from owning it the fifth or suffers any consequences of owning it the fifth. So we're going to have a closing on May 5th. Now this is the 12 month, 30 day method. So how many days in May? 30 days in May. There's 30 days in all the months because it's the 12 month, 30 day method. So we're going to take the $61.75 and we're going to divide it by 30 days. All right? And what are we going to get? Divided by 30 days is I have 2.0. 0.058333. So that's the daily rate. By the way, leave those numbers in your calculator. So the daily rate is $2 and a little bit more than a nickel per day. Now the seller owns the property how many days? Five days because he owns the fifth. So we're going to take that number there. 2.05833 times 5 days and what are we going to get? We're going to get looks like $10.29 so that's $10.29 now the seller we're having a closing on the 5th of May. The seller owes $10.29 to the buyer. So that's going to be a debit to the seller, credit to the buyer. That's going to be a debit to the seller. The seller's going to be frowning, debit. The buyer's going to be smiling, credit. I assume that everybody watching this tape has seen the other nine math videos I have. Now, I have other videos showing you how to do prorations, and I talk about credits, smiley face, debits, frowny face. And if you haven't seen that, go back and watch those because you need those. So. Uh, this is the 12-month, 30-day method, and this is prorating interest. And uh, there's other things that need to be prorated, but with this, and uh, by the way, this is in your fat book. If, you use, um, if you're using Linda Crawford's book, which is the one that I use, this is uh, uh, about page 314 in the, uh, in the middle of chapter 14, and uh, that's the way that works. By the way, speaking of Linda Crawford's books, if you're taking the state exam, especially if you're taking it for the second time, as you know, it's $31.50 every time you take it, I would urge you to get Linda Crawford's exam manual. It's got 400 practice questions in the back, and it's absolutely the best study aid you can possibly get. We sell that at Climber School of Real Estate, you can call Kathy at 407-822-3926, and um, it's the best thing you can get. Also, I would encourage you to come to my review class in Orlando. I teach a two-day review, and I, I also teach it live and in person. You can get the dates from our website or ask Kathy, but we also sell that on audio CD and video DVD. Uh, if that's any help, and you can get the details on the website or from Kathy. By the way, if you think you're ready for the state exam, let me tell you how to find out. Go to my website at www.climber real estate school and go to my website, take the 100 question practice test that I've got there on the website. Now, take it like a test. Don't go there and answer three questions and go look up the answers. Go take it like a test. Grade yourself. If you make an 80-something on that test, 
you'll probably pass the Florida real estate exam. If you make a 60 something on that test, you better keep studying. And make no mistake, the new Florida real estate exam is finding out who's been studying. So if we can help you, we're Climber School of Real Estate. We're in Orlando. I'm Ron Climber. Kathy's answering the phone. She's happy to help you with anything you need. So stay in touch and thanks for watching. And if you know, if you got any more math questions, uh, let me know. I'll put up another video. Thank you very much.